Uh, let's start by reminding you of the top story of the day. Gillingham striker Marlon King is tonight starting an 18-month jail sentence after being found guilty of handling a stolen car. King, the club's 22-year-old leading scorer, is said to be distraught, but the club has announced it will stand by him and expects him to resume his career with the Jills when he's released from prison. But what do the supporters think will happen next season? God knows what's going to happen. You know, he was our top goal scorer last season. He obviously was one of uh, Gillingham's biggest assets, and with the loss of him next year, I think they'll they'll be struggling. Well, Gillingham are going to suffer for it now, aren't they? So, hopefully, we we'll, well we we'll try and get a, another strike. We've got plenty of strikers there, obviously a bit on form, off form or whatever. But hopefully, yeah. And the question many Gillingham fans will want to know now is whether Marlon King, a player who nine months ago was being tipped for a World Cup place with the Republic of Ireland, has any career left in football. Charles Lambert's been trying to find out. Marlon King was Andy Hessenthaler's first signing as Gillingham manager, and today Hessenthaler continued to show faith in the striker. I believe he'll, he'll come out and he'll, he'll, be, uh, he'll be a better character for it. I think he's a, he's a strong character anyway, uh, and I, I really believe he'll bounce back. and. Uh, Let's hope we can get him back and scoring goals for Gillingham again. In the meantime, Hessen Taylor must find a replacement for King. No doubt there are a number of agents at the moment um, looking up Andy Hessen Taylor's number um, with players they think are as good as Marlon King was. You, you have strikers there, but they're not the strikers that are going to score you 20 goals a season. And you've really, to be any sign of success, any sort of success, in any division, you need a striker that's going to score you 20 goals. Marlon King's not the first footballer to find himself in trouble with the law. The most recent high-profile case being Jonathan Woodgate of Leeds, who was convicted of a fray. His teammate Lee Bowyer was acquitted of that, but admitted smashing up a McDonald's in East London shortly after leaving Charlton, his previous club. But equally, there are examples of footballers who have rehabilitated themselves. Tony Adams served three months for drink driving, but went on to win 66 England caps and captain Arsenal to two doubles. And further afield, Paolo Rossi was jailed for match fixing, yet within months of his release, his goals helped Italy to World Club glory. Charles Lambert for Meridian tonight.